Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series. My name is Anil and this is the ninth video of our project and in this video we will see that how we can delete the entries for restaurant. So in the previous video we see that how we can make the listing, how we can just make the, add the new restaurant with the form and everything. So if you did not watch the previous video, you can get the link from the description back in a box and you can start from the very scratch also. So now let's see that how we can just delete these items. So let's say we just entered some wrong data or we just want to unregister our some restaurant and how we can do it. All right. So now let's start with uh, with the points of the video so first of all we will add the font awesome icon and we will add some icons here with the operation column so that we can just click on this item and this row can be deleted from here as well as on the db after that uh, we will just uh, after adding the button we will have to just make a service for delete api call and we will uh, call this api on this button click all right so first of all let's get the font awesome cdn so you can just write here font awesome cdn from the w3 schools because this is the easiest link so that we can start from the very easy so just copy this font awesome icon from here and we can just paste it inside the index.html which is present inside the um, src folder like this all right after using this we can just get this link from here and we can use where we just want to put the delete icon so we want to delete icon inside the list restaurant component so first of all let's add, uh, add air uh, th and we can just make his scope for the call so just write here scope scope call and just write here operations and after that let's uh, add one more th and let's paste it directly so basically this is the uh, four dot car icon so i'm just going to make it trash and the font or some font size can be like 20 so that it can be look uh, a little bit good uh oh so this is uh, big size so now let's see just just try to refresh it maybe yeah now that's perfect so after doing this um we can just make a function call from here so like just uh, define a click event from here like click and uh, let make the function name uh, delete resto like this and let's pass the id from here so just pass the item dot id perfect so now let's make this function inside the ts file yeah so first of all we can just uh, format it and all right so just use this make this function now and let's get the data with the name of item here and in this item basically so we have to call the apis for deleting the uh, this any entry from here all right so uh, let's go inside the service file and uh, uh, let's just remove it and define the uh, delete service so just come here and we can just simply write here uh, delete resto and this delete resto as, as I sh uh, shown you in the second video with the postman that what is the URL and how we can use the delete API then if you just want to get the reference from you can just get the reference from the second video tutorial so we have to use this dot http and the uh, method will be the delete and here we have to just pass the url just use the backticks in the backticks let's use the dollar with the curly braces and here we can just write here this dot url then use the slash dollar curly braces and you can just put here id and we will get this id from the this parameter all right so after that let's uh, just call this function here so we can just simply write here uh, like this dot resto dot delete and let's pass the item from here and then we can just make it subscribe and uh, 
in the subscribe we can just use here console dot one result all right but we are just getting in result we can just get it here like this so it can be like this all right so now let's try to delete i'm sure that in with these things the item will be deleted from the database but it will be reflect when we just refresh this form because this entry is not deleted because these entries are coming from the collection so we have to remove the data from uh, collection array also all right so we will see it just after checking out so let's try to just delete the id number seven so whenever i'm just going to hit it now you can see that data is uh, gone from here with the delete method and we receive the blank record that means the data has been deleted but we are not able to see anything here because we just have to refresh it to check out all right so how we can make that the we sh should not have to just refresh it for that we just have to use a simple function the function name is uh, splash so just write a div dot collection dot splash splash and in a splice we can just pass the item and basically this will be the array item then uh, it will start from the zero that's why we have, we have to put here on minus one here and then and then we can just simply use here one the second parameter one meaning means we have to remove here but there you can see that the splice property cannot be present in the object because we are defined here the object here so i can just make it a uh, array here simply like this All right so now there is no error let's come back here and let's try to delete the some item like i just want to delete the fifth item fifth is gone from here i want to delete the uh, sixth item all right six is actually what's wrong with it let me check yeah this is working fine when i just refreshed no issue so let's try to delete one more so let's try to delete the fourth one here you can see that this is working fine all right so if you still have any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care in the upcoming video we will see that how we can update the things from here so let's say you just want to change some data from here that how we can do that all right so bye bye take care for a moment